Hey guys, welcome back into a new Roblox video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a GFX picture thingy. So, um, okay. So the three apps I, well not apps, but the three Roblox games I recommend you use are um, GFX Studios 2, Tiger Photoshoot, or GFX Studios the original. Now I'm going to be using GFX Studios 2. So, um... I'm just showing you the apps you can use right now, but um, here we're going to be playing, doing the GFX Studios. So it's going to load you in, going to load you in. You just have to be patient for that. So now that you're officially loaded in, um, sorry the screen is sideways. I'm going to show you around. So here's faces and accessories, hair and clothes, backgrounds, and scenes, and green screens. Now, um, I'm not going to choose backgrounds and scenes. Um, I'm going to teach you how to use this to do this thing from Ibis Paint. Now, first, I want the super, super happy face on for my photo. So I'm going to put that on and... So yeah, um, but we're not gonna use backgrounds and scenes because we're doing the Ibis paint thing, like I said. But um, they have like cool backgrounds and scenes. You should like check them out because in like the first one you can like sit or something in them, but I don't think you can in this one. Um, so let's go to the green screen and basically we're going to take our picture but if you but here's our gfx menu you could take star filters or cloud filters or just start and just clouds so and you can turn on the brightness however you however you want it contrast and whatever you want but we're not going to use that um you can also um change your poses by going inside your inventory and use the zoom in thing Okay, like a lot, you can use a lot, but um, you have starter poses, but I'm going to show you more, po more poses later on that you can use from your inventory. It even reminds you in the first one that if you want more poses, you go to your inventory. Now, the three poses I like are thinking, GFX wave, and GFX wave plus sitting or something. But, um, I will tell, tell you when I have all the poses down. Okay, so now I have most of my desired poses. And I have, and if you don't know how to do like a little GFX thingy, like, and you're like me, um, they have this animated GFX wave for you that you can use. And uh, you can either, if you don't want anything thingy, whatever, you can use uh, the photo menu and it takes out all the um, game things. So now you want to crop it, but you do not want you, this Roblox icon in your photo because um, once you put it behind a green screen, like if you're in Kind Master, it will just show up green, but we're not using Kind Master. We're using Ibis Paint. Now, unfortunately, this didn't work for me the first time, so I had to uh, re-screenshot myself by using the photo menu again. But this time, uh, yeah, I used the same pose. So now you're gonna crop it. Now I know not to zoom in. So we learn everything, every we learn stuff every day, am I right? Okay, back to the video. So now, I'm saving it to my photos. And now you wanna go into Ibis Paint. And here's some examples I'm gonna show you of how your uh, picture's gonna look like, I guess. So I'm going to um, first, uh, like, oh my God. So first, I'm going to go inside Ibis Paint and start getting my picture in, but this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, so now you want to listen closely. 
Here you have your green screen character. If you see the one at the bottom, you're going to press it and go to selection layer. And now you're going to take the bucket and you're going to completely take away the green screen because you do not want the green screen. And if you just like completely draw on the green screen, you don't want that. So now what you're going to do now that you have it, you want to complete, you want to, um, I don't really take away all the green screen parts on my Roblox character. Um, what I think is important if, is if you take the visible parts off, like the extremely visible parts off, but this is what you do not want to do. You don't want to get the paint on your Roblox, exactly all over your Roblox character because when you switch the layer and erase it, like let's say your legs or your hair, that's not going to pop up. So you want to completely, um, take, you want to completely, like completely, uh, take away all the visible parts. Now it's fine if you I think it's fine if you get it a little bit on your hair. I'm not sure, but we all make mistakes, right? Um, but anyways, I'm just, fi I'm filling out some of the visible green screen parts. Like, there should be a lot uh, all over your hair. Maybe there is a green screen part between, like, there should, there's, maybe there's a green screen part between your pants. If you do a open leg pose or something, but... There shouldn't if um, you're just putting your legs together, your Roblox legs together. So um, I'm just cropping it out a little bit, taking it out. Oh, no, got on the hair. My God. Okay, sorry for that. Um, once you have your some of your completely visible parts, the green screen, you're going to try and zoom out and see if you could see the rest or something, which I can't. I'm, I can't. Um, so once you think you're done, once you think you're done with it, um, you're going to switch back to your green screen layer. Um, I was just, um, my parents were handing me something at the moment, so I just paused while doing the video. Um, but I will show you what I mean when switch to green screen part, but I'm just um, cropping, I got found some ones more visible to me, so, sorry, um, so basically now you're going to switch your layer back to the green screen one, and you're going to switch to eraser and erase all over it. The cool thing is your character is going to pop up, but you're going to click to this background thing, and they have so many backgrounds you can choose from, but I chose from the real backgrounds. And some of them, um, I chose this one. So now your last step to do is um, remove selection area. And then click the arrow at the bottom, like at the bottom where your choices is where you can color. And you're going to not save as transparent. You're going to save as PNG. So that's how you do it now. Here's what you, it should look like in your photos. Now, if you use, um, uh, like, KindMaster, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, still, you can, it's way faster. You could just uh, search a background on Google or Pinterest and uh, take your uh, uh, layer image something, whatever, as a um, thing. But this is just of what I tried to do my first time. I don't think it turned that good out. I just made a random name, so, um, yeah. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. It paused, but bye.